Lifting family, welcome back. So I wanted to do an update on one of my more popular reviews for this channel, and that is for the cat barbell, the 1200 pound barbell that I still use to this day. So what I wanted to do is basically just kind of go over everything in terms of how this bar has held up over the past four years. And I ended up purchasing this in mid-December, early December of 2014. And so we're a little over the four year mark in terms of the use of this bar. This is my daily driver. I use this bar for everything. It's held up incredibly well over these past four years. Given that I've done deadlifting, I've done squatting, I've done benching, this, this was a bar that I used for powerlifting. So this is something that it's definitely held up over time. I do think that there's a great value that comes from this barbell. I am not really much of a maintenance person, unfortunately, in terms of the barbell itself. So I, I have not really done anything to it. I haven't really popped off the end collars and, and greased the barbell. I haven't really cleaned the barbell. So what you see is what's been, what I've got essentially. So what, what I've been dealing with, what I've been working with, and still to this day, fantastic barbell. What you can really see is just the barbell markings along the sleeves themselves, but that's really it. And then I did notice that the right collar, which technically is the right side because I laid it on that side, that ends up moving a little bit rough or a little bit less smooth than the opposite side. So that is something that I might take a look at, but it's really not problematic. It hasn't been problematic in terms of my lifting. And then one of the other things that I had noticed about comments or downgrades of this bar is that it doesn't have center knurling. Center knurling is nice, but at the same time, I just took some athletic tape and basically just wrapped that around in one layer around where the center knurl would be. So I just measured from one side to the other and basically just put a about a four to five inch piece of tape and wrapped that around in a circular fashion right around the center of it. That's held up well too. Have not had to change that out. Great barbell, four years later, here we are. One of my more popular videos on my YouTube channel. So thank you all for your support for that video. I really hope that everyone that is looking at that barbell and then is taking another look today that you definitely take the opportunity to buy this barbell. It's a great addition. It is not an Ohio power bar. It's not a rogue bar, but at the same time for the budget friendly user, between $100 to $140, depending on the price that day. It's a great barbell. Pick one up. I will definitely link that down below. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your support. Remember to click that like button, smash that thumbs up, turn on notifications. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep pushing.